What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Bookmind Academy. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Amazon being on a listing for any book that you're selling, uh, all the tips and tricks and everything you need to know about Amazon being on a listing. What's going on, Victor? What's up, Joji? I'm happy to be here. Happy to teach another, another lesson of books. Let's go. How do you even know if Amazon's selling a book? So we're over here on Bookmine and Victor, I'm just gonna start scrolling through some of these listings. What's a very, very easy way just from looking at the keeper graphs here to tell if Amazon is or is not on the listing? What's great about Bookmine is that you can immediately tell by the snapshot whether or not Amazon is on the listing. And it's the way you're able to tell is whether or not the, the listing has a little bit uh, like an orange to it. And so if it's orange, basically Amazon is in stock and is currently selling that book. So you can see right Right there most of the year that amazon is in stock they're a little bit in december that book actually is not in stock but the right. vast majority of the time amazon's in stock absolutely so the things that we've learned so far right we've learned about sales rank we've learned about the lowest use price and you know as we learn about more of these features it's going to get more complicated as more and more things appear on the graph but if we just like like we mentioned to show this orange or yellow or gold box essentially this is amazon's price at any point in time and like victor said if there's gaps between you know one box and the next box it just simply means that that's when Amazon was not out of stock. One thing I think that's really important to note here, Victor, is does Amazon always have the same price for the products they're selling? No, they're also priced very di dynamically based on how much demand is that book is happening and what they're projecting sales will be. So they're they're pricing books all over the place. So when you are looking at a book, don't think that Amazon's going to stay at that price forever. You know, Absolutely. most of the time they change it uh, throughout the season. And this is an interesting book. I mean, for most of the year, this is actually listed at the same price. And then it just all of a sudden, I don't know why, Victor, why did this go from 139 to 222? I have no idea. And then it went from 229 or 222 all the way down to 219. So really, I mean, in the past, there's been tons of variability. And look at the in stock, out of stock on this book back in the past. It's kind of crazy, right, Victor? Right. <laughs> That's pretty yep. wild. It's like they could barely hold on to that book and then it sold out. So Amazon will go in stock for a few days and then sell out. And so again, we can overlap sales rank for Props, and we can also overlap the use price here. And so you know, just an easy way to see whether an Amazon is selling the book is do you see that orange shade or that yellow shade? For example, are any are these two books books that Amazon is selling, Victor? Amazon is not in stock in either one of those books. For the last six months, Amazon has been out of stock. What's a way we can check whether or not Amazon was selling it? Like, okay, yeah, there's no orange box right here in the last year. But how do we know if they they ever did sell in the past? Well, I mean, this is you can just go to go to the bottom there and click the entire uh, 4,000 days or the the whole time that this book has been he has been tracking this book and as long as there's no orange on it amazon has never been on his listing this is a book that in the last four or five years has had sales running drops in the hundreds and consistently over 60 and all of a sudden now it's down in the 12 dollar mark so after this video is done i'm probably gonna go buy this book as long as the offer count of this book looks good in any case let's move on to the next topic here Amazon is normally going to represent the ceiling, the price ceiling. So uh, can you talk a little bit about what we mean by the price ceiling here? Sure. So when you're buying a book, the next thing you need to think about is how much can I sell it for? And right. one of the first things you need to look at is whether or not Amazon is in stock. And if they are in stock, what is their price? What price are they at? Because as third party uh, sellers like us, we're not going to be able to beat Amazon's price, right? Because they're new and they're still FBA. We're going to be selling FBA, but we're going to be used. So we're not going to be able to outbeat them. So you got to see what they're having and then just know that we're going to have to price underneath them. We're not going to be able to price higher than Amazon. There, there really are ceiling. Absolutely. Price ceiling, not going to be able to list anything more than that. Now that actually does lead to opportunities though. So one of the amazing filters of Bookmine is that you can actually filter by Amazon out of stock alert, which is essentially just means that here's a book that just recently went out of stock. So you can see all this whole column, Amazon out of stock is all green. So, you know, why would it be of interest if let's say Amazon does go out of stock? Amazon usually sells about 30 to 40 percent of a book. So they represent about 30 to 40 percent of the market when when Amazon's in the sales of a book. And so when Amazon goes out of stock, actually, you're taking around 30 to 40 percent of the the stock and basically just taking it off like your the competition is much, much less. And so because of that, the, the price actually starts to spike usually. So the, we, yeah. we found a really strong correlation between the two. Absolutely. So anytime Amazon goes out of stock, essentially, you're just removing the ceiling price, but you're also removing a lot of sales that would happen because, you know, a lot of people buy books just directly from Amazon. They trust Amazon. They get it in new condition and they'll get a two day free prime shipping. So, you know, right. that's just something to be aware of. If, if Amazon goes out of stock, just be aware that at 
at least for the near short term, that that price ceiling is going to go away. And it also offers the opportunity of sometimes selling books for double, maybe not double, I mean, you know, 150%. I mean, maybe double, maybe even triple MSRP of what Amazon was selling the book for. And obviously, you know, it'll depend a lot on demand. But I know, I don't know about you, Victor, I know I've definitely sold books in use condition for double, triple, quadruple the MSRP new price when Amazon was out of stock. So what you're looking for, what's a really a golden nugget is when the sales rank is still really, really strong, but Amazon just went out of stock because right. usually what's holding that price down is that Amazon is in stock. But once Amazon goes out of stock, there's nothing left. There's there's nobody holding that price down and the price starts to spike. So what's really great is if you're able to find the two, uh, a really great book that is has a lot of demand and Amazon just went out of stock. That's a book you need to buy as quickly as you find those. All right, cool. You're gonna have an easy way to go ahead and sort right. there by Amazon out of stock. That's what the OOS means, out of stock alert. Okay, so Victor, another thing that we should talk about is how close to the Amazon new price should we be listening to the book for? So for example, if we just click on this book here in BookMine, you can see at least over the last couple months, Amazon's been listing at $36.04. How do I know what do I price the book at? Like, should I price that at $36.03? Should I list it at $20? Because Amazon listing, like, what's your thought process there? Well, when I, the first thing I do is look at the history of the book, right? So at least one year, which is what we're at now, right now. And we want to see proven a proven track record. So the used price at every time that there's a sales rank drop during that time, I'm looking at each one of those. Okay, so when this price is around $36, it is selling quite often. Sell, sell, sell every time that it's around $36. Right. So I feel confidently that this book can sell for $36. The only issue here is that Amazon right now is at $36, right? Right, right. around. So I'm not going to be able to outsell Amazon. I know that, but I also know that I could sell it for around there because I have because it's just was selling that earlier um, in the year, or earlier last right. year. So what I'm probably going to do is go and list right under this. I find that the highest price I could probably list it for is around between 97 to 95 percent of the Amazon price, depending on how much demand there is. Right. And so that's probably the highest price point I want. And then um, underneath that, you know, that would be my max price and my min price would, you know, maybe 32 or 31 95 or something like that would probably yep. be my, my prices. Yep, absolutely. It really depends on the sales rank. Like here's a book that, I mean, it definitely sells, but it's not a book with an amazing sales rank. It's not clearly not selling every day. I mean, even recently, it's, you was maybe even sold a few times in the last couple months, right? Now, what's actually interesting about this book is Amazon just went out of stock on this book. And actually, what's funny is <laughs> someone out there, a new third party, so that's what, you know, we'll get to that in the next video. But a new third party, so I realized that Amazon went out of stock and they responded immediately. What happened to their price? They're doing exactly what the used price is about to do. It spiked. The uh, Amazon price was at $36. It was holding down the price and they, they moved it up to 52. And I don't know for sure if the used price is going to follow it, but more than likely, that's what usually happens. Happens, and um, we need to go back to check on Bookline to see if uh, it responded. Okay, yeah, it is the Amazon out of stock alert. All right, so the last thing that we thought was really important to talk about was Amazon stock quantity. So sometimes you might be wondering, you know, you're over here on Bookmine, you actually see that Amazon's on the listing, and you you might ask yourself, well, how many copies does Amazon have? Do they have 10, 1,000, 20,000? Like who knows how much they have? Well, there is a way that you can sometimes figure out how much they have in stock. And the way that you do that would be over on Keepa. So again, you're gonna need to keep a subscription to make sure that you're making sound purchasing decisions. It's a good way to look at past historical data, make sure that you're making good book buys. When you're on your Keepa account, it's on the main Keepa homepage, you can come under your profile name and click on the setting button and then come over here to the right, which, you know, where we see the website cog. And when you scroll down under add-on settings, you can actually click this button, which says display stock quantity on offer listing pages. And you can highlight or select that to yes. And what that's gonna allow you to do is to see stock quantity on all listings, but specifically allows us to see it on Amazon list. So you can tell from this Keepa snapshot that Amazon is on the listing. We see that orange shading. And what we can do is come over here, look at, used in new offers and we can go and sort by prime or by new and what we're going to do is try to find amazon and you can see that this says sold by amazon which means this is actually amazon the company not like this person this is hostile especially that's an actual third party seller this is amazon selling it and uh, what does this thousand plus mean here Victor? um so that is a placeholder actually amazon does not have a thousand books in stock they have way over the supply so they just put a thousand in there so just a placeholder so if you ever see a thousand plus just think okay not really sure but they've probably got a ton in stock. Yeah. Now, here's another example of a book, Past Perfect. You can, again, look at it, keep a snapshot. You see that orange and that gold shading, which means am listing. Again, we can come over here to 1483, new and used 23 offers, filter by 
Prime. And then we can also look at new and actually it looks like Amazon themselves is actually already in the buy box, which is awesome. Amazon.com, Amazon. And what are we seeing here, Richard? So on this particular book, Amazon is close to being out of stock. They have four in stock and it's given to you by Keepa. You can see it also works for other sellers. There's nine in stock there, but we thought that was a really important feature. So, so we really hope that you guys enjoy learning everything about the Amazon new price. Uh, anything else you want to add before we head off to the next video? Uh, no, just I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are really learning a lot and uh, tune in for the next one. All right, we'll get the third part of new prices next and let's go.